Hey folks, it's Patrick Pitko. We met uh, a few days back. Uh, I figured I'd show you a pretty cool video of the product you saw that you like. Um, as you can see, it's Apex Ultralight by Coachman. Uh, they've been business for almost 55 years. Uh, and you're looking at a Forest River product overall. Forest River, if you remember uh, Berkshire Hathaway or Warren Buffett, you'll know who the main backer is of this company. So. Starting off, looking at the front, something we talked about was the front cap wrapping around. Um, that kind of helps alleviate some of the future potential damage while you're traveling down the road, some of the abuse it takes from the road. But what's really cool too is it's automotive painted front cap, so that'll really help keep from uh, chalk and fading, things like that, um, that can happen to fiberglass while the sun beats on it. Um, after that, something cool I thought I'd point out some baggage doors are like this okay These baggage doors are a little bit different a little bit thicker with a lot more insulation factors here okay um, there's a magnet to hold them up super cool small little things sometimes make a difference but they also slam that shut just the convenience of not doing the knobs um, remember here was an example of the front cap this wraps over instead. So uh, come on around. The, uh, it's a fully aluminum, welded aluminum structure. Uh, now all the sidewalls, roof and floor are all vacuum bonded, uh, laminated. That's just giving you a stronger structure, potentially a little bit uh, better R values too at times. Uh, but one of the neat things we talked about with this uh, this brand was the Asdell backer. So the Asdell backer, instead of being a wood backer, okay, what happens with wood over time is it can start to, if you've got a major water leak, deteriorate, mold, turn into powder, um, and that causes some structural damage. This is a company that has Asdell, which is a composite um, backer that is impervious to water, mold, um, deteriorating. Um, it's also 50% lighter. Um, God, what's some of the cool things? Made in America. People like that. Um, I made some neat little points in case I forgot. Um, gosh, what else? Uh, sound dampening, better R values. Uh, that's. Uh, it's just going to really help with the future abuse of this traveling on the road in case you do get a water leak you're not going to have a compromised structure. Uh, it is a 50% lighter if I didn't point that out already. Uh, the doors, the windows, uh, the vents, the AC, things like that, uh, all the cutouts in this are aluminum frame. They're not free floating, so this window is actually set in an aluminum framing. So is the door. All right, so the next thing would be the, the axles. What's really neat for maintenance purposes, you can do it yourself, they're easy lube, you know, do it with a hand pump, not in the mag, so you'll pull them out. Um, every brand in the industry is pretty much going on nitrogen filled tires because they sit for a while. You're not continuously checking and using them. Um, so you can see there, underneath here would be the easy lube, they're Dexter axles. But now you can see the structure too is E coated. You know, that's just helping uh, rust prevention, but even if it rusts, you're, you're you're never going to have an issue with the structure, so it's heavy duty there. Now, one thing you did look for, which is very difficult for the weight, with what you're looking for. This thing's just over 6,100 pounds. You actually have an outside kitchen. Uh, you can actually open a door, which is something we talked about, uh, with a stove. The sink actually drains into the storage tank because you have a little bit larger tank capacity instead of dumping it to the side and making a mess. Um, now come on back, we're going to look up above by the lights. You have a option to prep in a camera if you want to. It's a plug and play. Um, you can either do it through us or order off Amazon, do it yourself. It's pretty easy. Um, now the roof structure. Um, the roof stru structure is very similar to a motorhome. You have aluminum, uh, basically aluminum trusses going across. It's the same amount of foam all the way across, so the R values are the same throughout. A lot of brands in the industry will have a higher R value in the center but quickly drops down to lower R values. So basically you're holding in more heat, holding in more AC in the summertime. But it's fully walkable, also a lighter weight roof. Um, then on the inside, 
we'll go check that out. I'll go over some more things on the inside. All right, so outside we were talking about the roof structure. So going inside looking at it, there's hard panels here, okay? Remember, this was a walkable structure, but these panels actually slid into place. So you don't have this real cheap wood being screwed or glued or stapled into place here. Um, it's just, again, giving you a, a, a stronger structure, the less potential of things like this happening. Uh, but now, looking into the living space, okay? You don't have accordion doors or curtain doors. They're actually solid doors here. Majority trailers being lightweight like this will have some sort of plastic doors here or curtain. Um, the stereo right here, DVD, Bluetooth, CD player, AM, FM, MP3, all that kind of stuff. Inside, outside speakers um, that tie the TV and the TV swivels around once the doors are closed. So you can have a TV in here or out there or in your bedroom. Um, now, cabinet door fronts, okay, they didn't cut corners here, did really nice wood, solid wood with this uh, glass insert, really to dress it up um, and you, give you a better look of quality uh, in an RV. Um, the next thing would to point out that was really cool was the countertops. So we're going to wait down, they're a seamless countertop, um, what's really neat is you're not going to have the bubbling or warping. Um, with it being seamless, uh, but also less less bacteria, similar to Corian style countertops. You can see it wraps over the edges. Um, the next thing would be looking at the sink. Okay, so you have the inserts as a undermounted sink. Okay, so this is giving you more counter space. But the neat thing here too is you have a lifetime guarantee that this is called a stone cast sink. Okay, so this can handle about 500 degrees here. Um, another neat little extra uh, to what this brand offers. Now looking at the flooring, you have six layers here. That's including the very underbelly, um, but looking at the actual flooring itself, okay? It's three-year warranty, cold crack resistant, mold resistant, slip resistant, um, and it's completely glued down. Majority of the industry doesn't do that, okay? It's usually a free-floating floor. So the idea there is no wrinkles. Okay, but it is underneath everything, so it's laid down underneath all the structures here. Um, now the next thing is looking at the bathroom. Good counter space, nice tub, good storage space. Okay, so you look at a really good countertop there. You don't see that a whole lot with a medicine cabinet, a tub surround. You don't see that with a lot of lightweight trailers because they try to cheapen the trailer as much as they can and keep it light. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, the next step, we're gonna go to the bunk room. Okay, so we're gonna check that out. That'll have sleeping for four adults, you know, of course, four kids, uh, but with some sort of storage in there as well, and a solid door. Again, not a curtain or a plastic curtain um, to, uh, to keep the kids from, you know, being hearing them more, I guess. All right, so the bunk area, again, sleeps four kids um, or four adults. Uh, it's a pretty comfortable area. Storage now, you got a little rack here with plugs. Storage under here, an area to step up or sit. Your television will actually sit here if you want to have a TV. 